Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Med School Monday. Today I might I thought I might share with you what a second year medical student schedule actually looks like. So I'll give you an example of that from my Google Calendar. So let's get started. So here is my schedule for first week of February. Um, as you can see, um, it looks pretty busy, but it's actually not that bad. So I'll walk you guys through um, the week starting Monday. So Monday morning and Thursday, af uh, Thursday morning and Friday afternoon, we actually have off. Here you can say it says clinical activity or self-directed learning. And what that means is if you are assigned to an offsite or a shadowing experience, then that's when you can do it. If you don't have anything assigned, then you can just do your own thing, study, sleep in, go to the gym or whatever. As you can see, I don't have anything scheduled on Monday, so that'll be sort of an off time for me. In the afternoon on Mondays, we usually have lectures. So this is actually going to be a renal block. So we're going to be learning about kidneys. So we have a couple lectures on kidneys at our school. We run the curriculum through what's called blocks. It'll be sort of like a system based block. So we'll have cardiovascular block and then pulmonary block and uh, right now we're in hematology and oncology block and then we're, we'll be in renal block so we're learning every system block by block and within the block we'll learn you know pathology sort of the normal physiology disease um, pathology and things like that so on tuesday we have some lectures in the morning as you can see you can see that during lunchtime between 12 to 1, we have these things that are grayed out. They're actually called lunch lectures. So lunch lectures are actually um, when we have some speakers come in and talk to us about different topics. So it looks like on Tuesday, they're going to be talking to us about global health. On Wednesday, they have another lunch lecture on health policy. So all the different interest groups at the school will invite speakers to come in and they'll serve lunch. And these are all optional, but very interesting to go to. In the afternoon on Tuesday, we have a small group called Fluid and Electrolytes. What we do at, during small group is basically we'll um, sort of reinforce the things that we learned in lecture previous week or previous day, and we'll solve through problems um, involving real patient cases and things like that. Um, in the afternoon on Tuesday, we have what's called a board prep workshop. Since we're second year medical students, we do have our step one board exam coming up in June so we have a lot of workshops and meetings about um, how to prepare for that. The lectures are not mandatory because they are recorded so we can kind of stay home and download the lectures at home um, so that it gives you a little more flexibility of how you want to use your time. So if you're not a morning person and all the lectures start at 8 30 or 9 30 um, you can stay home, you can sleep in, and you can choose to watch your lectures later in the day. On Wednesday, we have what's called podcast lecture, which means the speaker wasn't actually able to come to the school, so they actually record the lecture and they upload the lecture on the website for us to just download and watch whenever we have time. But they do block out some time to make sure that we actually do do it. 10 to 12 on Wednesday, we have another small group called POPs. And POPs will actually focus more on patient cases, um, some problem solving skills involving the concepts that we learn in school. So one to four on Wednesday, we have what's called PATH Talk. So unlike other schools, our school doesn't actually have a pathology class separately. So we don't have a pathology box. So we have pathology worked into different blocks of systems. So uh, we're gonna be learning about kidney, lower urinary tract, and male genital tract. Pathology. So we'll be looking at sort of what different tissues look like under the microscope, normal and diseased. Thursday morning, like I said, we have off, but I'm actually scheduled to go to a psych interviewing. So I'm going to be going to a psychiatric institution and interviewing a patient. In the afternoon on Thursdays, we have what's called PCM, which stands for Patient Centered Medicine. And it's sort of a year long course where we learn pretty much how to be a doctor. So we'll learn how to do physical exams, how to interview patients, how to tell patients difficult news, and just generally how to be um, a doctor aside from all the science stuff that we're learning in other lectures. Friday morning, we have some lectures, and sometimes we'll have some small groups, and Friday afternoon is off for either free time or off-sites and shadowing experiences. So as you can see, it's pretty busy but there are scheduled free times in and all the nighttime is 
free for you to do whatever it is that you wanted to, whether that is studying or catching up with your friends. Sometimes if you have other courses that are offered in the afternoon, like medical Spanish, so if you want to sign up for that, that's free for students at our school. Okay, so I hope you guys found that useful. As always, if you guys have any specific questions about my schedule or classes, you guys can leave it down below in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!